Hello, my friends. It is Monday and we are starting a new trip. This week we are going to the farm. We're going to go visit a farmer and all of his animals. Um, most farm, farms, I think all farms, have a barn. So today we're going to draw a barn. Now, Sophie and Pearson, you have a an already drawn barn coloring sheet that you can color in and maybe you can draw a little chicken or cow or something or you can decorate it with stickers anything you want to do most barns are actually red do you know why because back in the day in the olden days um red paint was actually the cheapest kind of paint it was a lot cheaper to make than blue or purple and that that's why if you had to paint something big like a barn you would get the cheapest paint right and that was red so you can choose to make color your barn red or you can go for an expensive option, make it a different color or you can make it rainbow. All right, for the rest of you guys, you have to actually draw your own barn. You have a piece of paper like this that has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dots on it. You're going to connect those dots. Now, I did not actually include a ruler in your supply kit. You might want to find one if you have one in your house. Um, if you don't have one, you can use a piece of paper, uh, a thick piece of paper, or you can use a piece of cardboard, anything that has a straight edge. All right, I'm going to use a permanent marker so it's easier for you to see the outline, but I think you should probably use a pencil. That way, if you make a mistake, you can erase it. We are going to start from the top. I'm just going to connect the first two dots. Of the roof. A barn has a funny looking roof. It is not just a straight triangle. And I think that is because the farmer wanted extra space up here in the attic to store maybe hay or equipment or who knows what. So, and also they needed to be able to stand up a little bit up there in the barn attic right up here. So instead of going just straight down, by making it at an extra angle, you have a little extra space up here. Okay, we're gonna go down the sides for the walls of our barn. One on each side. So this is a pretty simple looking barn, right? We're not gonna do anything crazy. We're not making it three dimensional or anything. Here comes the interesting bit. Most barns also have a silo. That's where they store the grain. So we're gonna draw a silo here behind. You don't have any dots for that. You're gonna to have to just figure it out yourselves. So now I'm gonna draw the line down at the bottom here, and I'm going to extend it to the side where I have a little more space on my paper. There we go. So you see, it comes out to the side here. So I have room to make a straight line up to make a tower, which is a silo. Okay, I'm going to take my ruler and make a pretty straight line. I'm not gonna draw it all the way to the top of my paper, but I definitely want the silo to be taller than the actual barn. something like that okay I'm going to make a line across here at the top of the silo try to make it sort of make your ruler parallel with the top of your paper so that there's the same distance um, between the ruler here and the top of the paper as there is on the other side that way you get hmm, a pretty straight line okay like that and then i'm going to make a straight line down from the roof of the silo down to the roof of the barn ta-da we have a silo i'm gonna give mine sort of a rounded roof you can do a triangle roof you can do, do any shape of roof really that you like If you want to do a rounded roof, 
but you're not sure that you can make sort of a fairly decent looking semicircle, you can always use a cup or something like that to guide you. Now, this is actually starting to look like a barn, isn't it? I think so. Now we're gonna need to make a nice big gate so that we can get equipment in and out of the barn. I'm going to just draw a line straight across, not all the way from side to side, mind you. I'm gonna go in a little bit and not quite all the way to the other side. So it's sort of in the middle here. Speaking of the middle, I can use the point of my roof to draw this straight line down the middle of my gate. There we go. So that we have that and we can open up both sides. I'm gonna do the sides of my gate one and the other side here. Like that. Now the farmer will be able to get a tractor out of there, a whole herd of cattle, who knows whatever what he's got in there. I don't. Actually my cousin has a dairy farm in Denmark. I've only visited a couple of times. It's kind of smelly. All those cows, they are kind of smelly. But it's interesting to see too. It's not like you see a lot of cows around Oak Park or Chicago area. So we're gonna make a window now. Window is a, just sort of a rectangle. I'm gonna try and make it fairly straight and even. There we go. If it's not completely straight, don't worry about it. You know, a lot of barns are kind of old and maybe they've been They've collapsed a little bit on one side, or they're not as beautiful and sturdy as they used to be. So don't worry too much if yours is not completely straight. But there we go. We have a window, we have a big barn door, and we have a silo behind. Now you can decorate and you can color and you can do whatever you wanna do. You know, I would kind of like to put I don't know, I think I'm gonna put a weather vane up here. So that's a straight line. And there's a little X here with an, there's an N here. Now I have to think, what does N look like upside down? Hmm, looks like this. I have to look, turn around. That is one of those letters that's really hard to write. Actually, upside down, N. There we go, N for North. This one down here is gonna be S for South. North, South. Ooh, now I have to think again. North, South, East and West. Okay, then we're gonna put an E over here. And the W down here for West. All right, and I think I need a rooster on top. Usually roosters sit on top of weather vanes. Weather vanes tell you which direction the wind comes from. So here we go, here's the rooster's head, it's got a beak, it's got some fancy feathers on top of his head, and he's got some fancy tail feathers too. I can just kind of color him in. There we go, weather vane on top of our barn. And maybe, you know, you could draw chicken or cow, whatever you want to do inside. If you want to get really fancy, you can uh, make some wooden planks here on your barn door. I'm not even sure exactly how those go, but this is how mine is going to look. Just like that that like that um you can also add a frame for your window to make it look a little bit fancier or not it is entirely up to you how much you, work you want to put into it today you can always add more detail or you can just get started coloring 
whatever you would like to do. Thing is, almost all buildings that we humans make are the same. They have a door, they have a window, they have a roof. That's the important bit. Um, silos generally don't have a lot of windows, but there is usually a big loading window up here on top so that the farmer can put grains in. And there is an opening at the bottom so you can get the grains out again. But I'm not going to add those. This, I think, is going to be the end of my barn. So there you have it. Have fun with your barns. Make a really nice one. Um, you can make up a little story. Maybe it's a barn full of hens or it's a barn full of, I don't know. You, you tell me. You decide. Come up with a great story about some barnyard animals. Have a great day. I will see you again on Wednesday. Bye now.